Hi, this is Greg from ASUS, and today we're going to be taking a look at the ZenBook 3. The first thing you might notice about it is this thing is extremely tiny. At less than 2 pounds, and only 11.9 millimeters thick, it's thinner and lighter than its closest competitor. It's also more powerful with a 7th generation Intel Core i7 CPU. Its overall dimensions are 11.65 by 7.52 by 0.47 inches, making this the most portable laptop in our lineup. It features a full-size keyboard, which I didn't believe at first until I compared it directly with the G752, and yeah, it's exactly the same size. And looking at them next to each other is kind of fun. The keyboard is also backlit, and there's a fingerprint reader built right into the touchpad, so you can use it to log into the system using the Windows Hello feature. We also teamed up with Harman Kardon to give it excellent sound quality. The quad speaker system delivers distortion-free audio at a surprisingly loud volume through the use of a smart amplifier. On the left-hand side, there's a headset port, and on the right, there's a single USB Type-C connection. It comes with a breakout cable that will add HDMI, standard size USB 3.0 port, and USB-C so you can still charge it while you're using the cable. There's also a more advanced universal dock available that adds a lot more ports, and it would be ideal for using in a home or office setting. It features Ethernet, VGA, HDMI, two USB 3.0 ports, USB-C, headphone and microphone ports, and an SD card reader. Powering the ZenBook 3 is a 7th generation Intel i7-7500U CPU. It has a 12.5 inch Full HD 178 degree IPS style display, 16 gigabytes of low power DDR3, a 512GB NVMe SSD, and Windows 10 Pro. There's also a silver gray version of the ZenBook 3, and that features a Core i5-7200 CPU, 8GB of DDR3 low power memory, and a 256GB SATA SSD, and Windows 10 Home Edition. The next thing I want to show you is some of the internal components we were just talking about. This is the main motherboard for the ZenBook 3. And you can see how small it is. I mean, here's the Core i7 CPU there. And this is where the SSD goes. There's no SSD in it right now. Uh, but just the fact they're able to pack all this power in such a tiny package is pretty amazing. And cooling that is also an interesting task. We developed this um, really cool ultra-thin heat pipe. I mean, from this angle, it looks like a normal heat pipe but then you turn it sideways and it nearly disappears. The walls in this copper tubing here are less than a tenth of a millimeter thick, but it's still relatively strong. Then at the end here, we've got a radiator that's about three millimeters thick, and blowing air through that is this fan here. The whole assembly is less than three millimeters thick, but it still provides quiet and efficient cooling, exhausting air through a vent in the rear of the laptop. So here we've got the ZenBook 3 kind of in business mode. I've got the universal mini dock here um, running to the monitor, keyboard and mouse. And uh, now this is not a gaming system by any means, but uh, it is my first experience with a KB Lake processor here in the office. So I thought it would be fun to uh, install some games on here and see what kind of uh, performance we can get. So the first game is CSGO. All right, so I just started a game with some bots. I'm playing in 1080p with the uh, settings pretty much on low just to see what happens. So. Uh, right now, we're getting about uh, 20, 28, 30 FPS. Um, not bad. Oh, man, that bot's pretty good. All right, so I've got the resolution turned down to 720p, and it already feels better. I'm getting in the mid-30s. Uh, looks like I'm almost touching 40 there, so not bad. And it's actually very playable. I mean... I mean, in a pinch, you could definitely play this with some friends. So next up is Rocket League. And again, I've got the quality turned way down. Um, I've got, uh, it's playing on 720p. And um, it looks pretty awful, but the gameplay is not bad. I've got uh, running about 40 FPS, uh, dipping into the 30s there. Um, but yeah, definitely playable. And I just scored. So the next game I'm going to show you is Limbo, and uh, it's kind of a fun side-scroller, not too graphically intensive, um, but uh, as you can see, it's running at about, I'm getting about 50 FPS, so uh, it's dipping into the 40s now, um, so really not bad, definitely playable. So like I said before, this isn't really a gaming system, but with the power of that 7th generation Core i7 CPU, um, you could really do some amazing stuff. I mean, if you go to your friend's house, and all you've got is your extremely lightweight and you know, tiny portable laptop, and they all want to play, you know, Counter-Strike, whatever, um, you could definitely 
join in. Um, so thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.